Matthew, how's things with you? Yeah, good, thank you, Stuart. How are you? Not bad, doing really well. You've been enjoying the final so far? Yeah, it's been awesome. A really good game, and uh, I think everybody expected to be a bit closer than it was at half time. The Blitz are a team that I've followed. Obviously, we played them in the semi final, so I've been scouting them quite hard. I've spent a lot of time watching what they do, understand how they work. But I didn't expect that the Warriors would be so far behind at this point. That, that's, I don't think anybody really expected that, considering they were 10 and 0 for the season in yeah, the Premier League. Absolutely. South and, absolutely. And winning that division, you know, but just like it's a final, it's all regular season starts go out the window. Every, everything goes out the window, and I think that was the thing the Blitz said when they spoke to us after the game was that their plan is always get to the get to the postseason and then worry about it when it happens and the big difference between them and both of these teams actually and a lot of other teams is the the quality of the coaching staff they have you know when you look at Mark Moss and the coach he's got both of his offensive and defensive coordinator and uh, Mike Callan and Damian Anderson are guys who are head coaches at the GB level you know yeah. and these are guys that can make changes when they need to make changes when you're when you pull your your, your offense on the sideline and things aren't working they have a word, they make the changes, and that's what happens, you know? Yeah, they do, and you know, I think the, 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 the clear thing here, the Warriors' message needs to be is, get an early touchdown. Most bring, definitely. Bring it back into the Most game. definitely. I mean, we're talking about a 20-point deficit, but, you know, they still have a football to be played. If they can come out, score early, start to put the pressure on, we'll see a different story. Uh, one of the big things that's been a difference for me has been the pressure that uh, the Blitz have put on Jerome Allen when he's been making his passes. You know, they've got Jason Brisbane coming off the edge hard, you know, and he's been... In, in his face or thereabouts all the time and the coverage is good you've got guys like um, Aaron Sanders Percival number three you've got uh, Ed Morgan who's one of the better uh, corners in the league you know these guys are, are providing tight coverage and there's somebody in the quarterback's face all the time so yeah. if they can start to, to work the ball loose give themselves a bit more space then yeah, yeah. and get an early score we could do a different story when I was through watching East Cobray Pirates game against the Blitz and you were indeed really, really good game of football to watch and yeah. the guys were really unlucky in that game definitely I mean we worked hard and I spent the reason I'm so kind of close to the Blitz is because I watched about eight games worth of their season you know I know the guys that work hard they got Charlie Joseph number 6 the guy to watch out for he's had an awesome season their offensive line's got guys like Pete Soccer used to play for us number 74 58 Rob Hardy getting the job done for them they've got a great team and we worked hard okay. to be ready for what they gave but there, uh, Spurrier, sorry just quickly we've got the camera on Vernon King right now the uh, celebrity uh, I am Go get him in when you can, of course, of course. Absolutely. But it's good, though, to have someone that's stacked to the Vernon Key in the sport. He's someone that's got a, a huge stature nationally anyway. He brings the sport up. Always good. Always good. Have you seen him play? He's a good player. He is a very good player. Yeah, we watched him last year in the final after we beat Leicester in our final. And it, more than that, he's a gentleman. And he's a guy you can approach. If you tweet him, you guys get on Twitter, you know, give him some chat. He's, he's a good guy. He did. He, t he, t he tweeted at uh, Vidan TV. I've seen him in the finals live. Uh, this weekend, what have you made in the finals so far? All it's, games. Well, from you guys' point of view, one thing I was saying to, to Drew Anderson, who obviously puts all this together, is uh, it was a big make or break. I spoke to you earlier on about this year. It's a big make or break uh, weekend from from Grand TV's point of view. I've come in the finals for the last four years. It's my fifth year here. Three as a player and then two as a spectator. And for you guys, you know. To put yourselves out like this is huge, but what a job you've done. I mean, I watched this in my house, and my girlfriend, who's not a big fan, was through at the end of the games, <laughs> just watching the screen, waiting to see what happened, you know. I mean, it's honestly, for everybody all over the world, there's guys in the States, there's guys in every continent, as you said yesterday, a huge effort from you guys, and fantastic to see it happening. And the weekend's brilliant, and it's great to be back in Don Valley, which is a stadium that hosted a lot of British finals for a lot of years, and to see the finals back here, just awesome. Yeah. And big, a huge shout out to the Sheffield Predators because they did a great job yesterday. They absolutely did, and you know, and one of the standout players uh, yesterday for Sheffield was David Saul. And it's funny, me and David Saul are good friends. The two of us played together in, a, in an invitational team out in Amsterdam last summer, and I was chatting with him earlier on. Him and his good lady, and uh, he's battered and bruised after that because when you run the double wing, it's a physical, you know, it's a hard nosed game, and everyone said you can't win a title with double wing, and they showed you can. Okay. I mean, look, we're talking about a 20 point deficit going into the second half Matthew and uh, what will Mark Mawson say to the Blitz at half time? It's all about not taking their foot off the pedal because like I said you know if they come out hard and they keep doing what they did this first half the game is theirs but if they let the door open start letting the Warriors score some points build some momentum we both know how quickly momentum can change a game. So. Excellent look Matthew I really appreciate you your time to chat with us. My pleasure. We'll my get pleasure. you back into the last quarter to do a little bit of final comments with us. Yeah, okay? A pleasure. Absolutely thanks very much for joining us. Thank you.